Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. Six people, including two police officers, have been shot dead during a siege west of Brisbane. The officers were part of a group of four who attended a property at Wayambilla responding to a missing persons report. Two were shot dead along with an innocent bystander believed to be a neighbour. Specialist police shot dead three others in a firefight in the following hours. Queensland Police Commissioner Katarina Carroll says the force is in mourning. I extend my heartfelt condolences to the officers families, friends and colleagues. Our thoughts are with them during this extremely difficult time. Those officers paid the ultimate sacrifice to keep our community safe. The health department has been forced to clarify a plan that initially stated COVID PCR testing in a privately run clinic would require a medical referral in the new year. It announced the overhaul yesterday morning but has since clarified on its website most PCR tests at state-run sites, hospitals and GP clinics will continue without referrals. Former Foreign Minister Maurice Payne will appear as a witness in the ongoing Royal Commission into the failed robo-death scheme today. Ms Payne was Human Services Minister when the program was introduced in 2015, alongside then Social Services Minister Scott Morrison. A lot of belt tightening this Christmas with the cost of many festive staples on the way up. Fruit, mince pies, soft drinks and turkey are among the items to record the biggest increases, jumping by as much as 11%. And it's been revealed NASA planted some Easter eggs during its recent Artemis 1 moon mission. The Orion capsule was plastered with five different symbols, one representing the countries that helped to build it, with another a nod to Frank Sinatra's hit, Fly Me to the Moon. To sport now, another accolade for Ash Barty. She's taken out the Nuka medal in Melbourne overnight, beating the likes of Alex Dimonor and Nick Kyrgios. And the men's big bash gets underway tonight. The Sydney Thunder and the Melbourne Stars clash in Canberra. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, the latest trailer for the second instalment of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's documentary series has dropped. In it, the Duke of Sussex accuses members of the Royal household of lying to protect his brother, Prince William. To see this institutional gaslighting. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves. They were actively recruiting people to disseminate disinformation. The final three episodes drop on Thursday. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.